of the kingdom of Toria. The sisters differ in appearance. Their enthusiastic nature to help others is the same, but the outcomes are quite different. This is yours! <gasps> what? You ruined it! One day, princes from neighboring countries come to the kingdom of Torio to propose marriage. To welcome the princes, the king organizes a royal <laughs> feast. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Sometimes fate is so ironic. <laughs> Why does everyone love her? <laughs> oh, princess, what troubles you so? No one likes me. Is it because I'm ugly? <laughs> I've huh? seen Princess Amy wear makeup all the time. Your face is also beautiful. Mm. If you put on makeup, you wouldn't be huh? less pretty than Princess Amy. Really? <laughs> From then on, Princess Lever locks herself in her room, and no one knows what she's doing. All right, today I'll try putting on makeup. Now to apply all four colors to my cheeks. <coughs> <coughs> oh my, what is this? I can't give up so easily. <laughs> How can I become beautiful? The flowers are so beautiful. Huh? Whoever eats these beautiful petals will become as lovely as them. <gasps> Where did they go? Ah, so beautiful. Could what they said be true? <laughs> Lila, influenced by a casual <coughs> remark, begins eating flower petals instead of food. <laughs> Why? Why doesn't it work? <gasps> Liba, what's going on? I've been out and didn't know you were fasting. I don't want to <gasps> see you. I'll make your favorite porridge. <laughs> I think I was too harsh with her. She even made porridge for me. doesn't care about me. She's out with Jack now. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Leva hasn't eaten in days. Oh. Leva will understand. You've been busy helping the poor outside the palace. Mm. How's it going? Just as you predicted, she's obsessed with beauty, even eating flowers instead of food. Don't get too cocky. Huh? Hmm. Tomorrow, I'll bring people here as planned. Hmm. <laughs> Where have 
you been? I was just outside the palace. Lots of interesting stories there. Hmm. Like what? They say there's a witch in the forest who can cure all diseases. <gasps> hmm. Huh? She can turn a duck into a beautiful swan. Such magic can't be real, right? Desperate to be beautiful, Lima overcomes her fears and visits the witch alone. Can you make me beautiful? Just drink this potion. Huh? Leva gone. Let's split up and look mm. for her. Maybe Princess Leva went out to play. I see. Inform Amy so she won't worry. Mm. <laughs> Finally, when mm. the palace is in chaos, Leva returns. Mm. The first person she wants to see is... Princess Leva, you look so different. I must confess, from the first moment, I fell for you. I don't understand what you mean. I... I... really like you. Huh? I have no such feelings for you, Princess. <gasps> is there any way to make my face like my sister's? There is a way, but... Tell me quickly! The two sisters must never meet each other, or it won't work. Leva's mm. desire to be beautiful goes too far. Oh... Finally! A moment without my sister around! Huh? Oh, huh? Amy! You said you'd be in the palace with Leva this morning. I just wanted to see you! I'm fine now! I want to go for a walk with you! Of course! What shall we have for lunch today? Uh... <gasps> uh? <laughs> mm. Seeing those poor children, she... As Lever enjoys herself, a <gasps> sister appears. Oh! No! This can't be! What's wrong, Leva? That was clearly Amy just now. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Enough! <gasps> Leva, don't oh? go! Come back to the palace with me! <laughs> have Amy's face forever, no matter the cost. I want Amy's face forever! We need your sister's voluntary agreement. How would Amy ever agree? I oh. finally found you. Why did you find me? Huh? Everyone's been worried about you. Huh. Stop pretending to care. What I want is your face. <gasps> Jack told me about today. Don't believe the witch's words. I just want your face, or I'll leave forever. <sighs> Leva, if that's what you want, I'm ready to exchange faces with you. But even if I become ugly, people will still love me. Then let's do it today. I still believe I'm right. The final point in the journey of beauty is the exchange. Face for face, soul for soul. Leva, if you ever have any grievances in the future, please talk to me. Yes, but are you willingly true? Hmm. Close your eyes. We shall begin right away. <laughs> My face looks just like hers now. Now you must learn to love yourself, dear. <laughs> Let's return to the palace, shall mm. we? Why don't I seize the opportunity to take Amy's face? Face swapping must be consensual by both parties. I tempted Leva because she trusted everyone. So what should we do? It's almost time. The day I become queen is approaching. <laughs> Jack, have you had breakfast? I've had breakfast, Amy. Sister, oh? I mean, you go to the room first. Mm. <gasps> Amy? 
me? Yes. <gasps> Princess Leva, what <gasps> trick are you playing now? I... How did you figure it out? <laughs> Even if I look like Amy, you still won't love me, will you? I've met many beautiful girls, but it's only Amy's kindness that has captured my heart. Princess Leva, even if you were as beautiful as a fairy, I still wouldn't love you. <laughs> Leva! Leva! Amy, let Leva have some time to think. <laughs> even if I look like Amy, you still won't love me, huh? <laughs> It seems my sister Amy was right. I've caused trouble for her, and now I understand. I want everything to return to how it was. <gasps> it's Tinax. <gasps> Why is she here? How are things going? She was exposed as soon as she met Prince Jack. <laughs> it seems that fate is on our side. Only you deserving can become queen. What's next? Hmm? We must separate the two sisters. Make <gasps> Leva hate Amy enough to want to become a sorceress to harm her. When that happens, Leva will willingly swap faces with you. <laughs> Being around someone as clever as me has improved you a lot. <laughs> So the witch <gasps> arranged everything. I was foolish to let them control me. <gasps> hmm? I won't let you win. Uh. Where's the library? Hmm. <laughs> This door seems heavy. Ouch! That hurts. <gasps> wow! So many books. If I remember correctly, the books about sorcery are on the highest shelf. Don't even think about making it difficult for me. Hmm. <gasps> mm. <sighs> I still haven't found the right one. Did the princess not sleep well last night? Uh, yeah. Princess Amy is trolling with Prince Jack in the flower garden. Hm? They're starting to drive a wedge between us. I won't fall for that. But if I don't show anger, it'll make Tina act suspicious. Uh, I have to play along a bit. If she comes here, don't let her in. <laughs> if I can't find the right book soon, I'll have to keep looking at Tynox's annoying face. Here. Mm. It was you, Tynax. You betrayed me. Tynax, she's already been captured. She's about to have a prison meal with <gasps> you, that's all. Uh. <gasps> mm. 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 If you harm me, your <gasps> face will... Enough! <gasps> no more threats. Wait for your punishment. No! <gasps> How dare you restrain me! I am the future queen! Gagger, <gasps> escort her back to the palace for judgment. Hmm. <laughs> Amy, do you trust me to restore our faces? I trust you, Leva. <laughs> hmm. Remove all the flowers around the pond. When they let go of the extravagant illusions, everything returned to its rightful path. Ha ha! I'm finally back! You've truly grown up, dear. In the end, the villain was brought to justice. Though not perfect in appearance, <laughs> Leva is still cherished for her kind heart. <laughs> it's just her clumsiness that seems... Is this pot of porridge seasoned yet? It's not just seasoned. I poured the entire salt shaker. It's so salty! <laughs> wow, 
Money, beauty, or fame are all attractive things that many people have to work their lives to earn. <gasps> but there was a mirror, which if someone put a glimpsing in it, it will help them forget all the sadness of reality. <gasps> to enter and live in a world with what they aspire to. Huh. Come on, let me help you. I don't remember how long I've been in this mirror, just knowing that to survive. I must make many, many souls to enter. Oh my god, what is this? There were not many people could escape the attraction of the evil mirror. Actually, the things inside the mirror are just illusion. On the outside, the body of those soul is still standing, meaninglessly. If they couldn't get out in time, the body would wither with the years. What? I didn't do anything! Not me! Not me! Ugh. Once again, there were not many people could ignore the attraction of the mirror. And this young cavalier didn't seem to be an exception. Ooh. Hey, young man! Come in here and I'll fulfill your greatest wish. Hmm? <laughs> wow! The most decisive man I've ever met! Tell me, what do you want most? <gasps> what? <clears throat> you are crazy! I must avenge my comrades who were hurt by you. Oh, I got it. However, if you take my life, the world you're standing in will also fall apart. <gasps> Not just you, but all hmm. souls can't escape either. You're threatening me? <gasps> no way! If you spare my life, I'll take you to the ancient tower to open the gate to bring souls back to the outside world. Huh. It seemed Ooh. that the others are so important to him, which immediately made this Ooh. cavalier agree to believe my unbelievable lie. Yeah, right. That was a lie. I didn't know much about this tower either. In the past, I always stayed close to the mirror. So it was impossible for me to anticipate the traps on the way that could be so terrible. How lucky that my companion was such a skilled warrior. Thanks to him, we had overcome many traps, one after the other. Thank you. Don't mention it. If you vanish soon, no one could show me the way. What a cold heart. I didn't know why my heart was vibrating like that. Maybe it had been a long time since no one cared about me in the world? Along the way, I tried oh. explaining to him that I'm not actually the owner of this mirror. And the desire to leave the mirror or not was dependent on the will of each individual. Don't blame me for pre-announcing! If you stay in this world for too long, you can't find the way out. So what? And here, I can eat everything I like! There's nothing good out there, you know? <gasps> well, with their greed and selfishness, they'll soon be meet the scourge, even without me. Oh, so you and your friends do have a really good relationship, huh? <sighs> Wish that someone could do things for me, despite such danger. Just like what you've done. I couldn't even remember who I was and how I turned into this. He didn't answer me, even a word. But I didn't know whether I imagined it or not. But in the rest of the path, ah! Louis, huh? well, that cavalier's name, treated me more gently. <laughs> You're the first one to treat me well like that. <gasps> when we finally reached the base of the tower, what awaits us was a monster formed by the ambition of souls. He held a big orb, which locked up all the souls who were sucked into the mirror world. Shall I go first? I know I'm not even his rival. <gasps> You're smart. <laughs> a mirror demon walks along with humans. Hmm. How exciting. Let's see what ambition this man tied to. Pride, beauty, or money? The monster gradually went mad at the fact that his chain 
whatever form it was, couldn't tie Louis up. That's why he quickly turned to me. Loneliness and the desire to be loved is the weakness that had me tied by the chain of love. Clara, don't worry. I will save you. No, it won't help. Behind the monster is the only door to leave this world. Just go! At the same time, I sought the way to lure the monster farthest away, giving Louis a chance. But he didn't do it. Aha! I've got your weakness. Because the monster wanted to catch Louis, he decided to release me. I couldn't believe that Louis was caught this time. Did he... did he know how to love? When I hadn't understood what was going on, Louis could have used his last strength to protect me and pushed me through the door. My eyes fainted, witnessing the last grim smile of the best man in the world. Although I had escaped from the monster, my heart was broken, thinking that I would never see Louis again. There was no other way. I broke the mirror next to me, which means that if the mirror broke, my soul would most likely perish. As soon as the mirror broke, Louis woke up. Clara! Clara! Louis, don't worry about me. You're a good person. Don't let anything affect your kindness. Don't remember me. I'm the bad one of this whole story. This is just a punishment. No! Clara, no! The pieces of the mirror that had been seeped into by blood suddenly joined together, forming a small piece of mirror. It suddenly became a two-way mirror, showing Louis that I'd been locked in the castle of the mirror. It turned out that when the mirror was destroyed, the mirror demon would not disappear, but come back to this castle. Clara, wait for me. I will definitely rescue you. Okay, I trust you. Oh, are you sure? It's him, Mirror Devil, the most brutal of all devils. Before Louis arrives, I have to protect myself. Miracle is known as the kingdom of beauty, so much so that just walking on the street is the way to meet beautiful women. Oh my god! Oh, pretty girls. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, are you all right? Fairy! <gasps> Sorry. Because you're so beautiful. Ah, you are sweet. But if you don't get up quickly, you'll miss the chance to see the five most beautiful princesses of Miracle. To increase attachment to the masses, once a month, the royal princesses will leave the palace to go to help people in difficult circumstances. <laughs> Their arrival is always warmly welcomed by the people. They even created a poll to see which princess was the most popular. At the top is the princess Cancer, who has a friendly, gentle appearance. She was always kind to everyone, without distinction of classes. The difference is not too big in the number of votes, is the third princess, Virgo, the goddess of beauty. If only in terms of beauty alone, it would be hard for anyone to surpass her. Or for those who love fragility, softness, will definitely love Pisces. She's just too shy to show up as much as her sisters. There's not also a small number of people who love Scorpio's cold personality. In particular, not only men, but mostly women. You have to be more careful. So handsome! At the bottom of the list is the second princess, Leo. Mm. What was Leo doing in the room? Leo is beautiful, strong, and kind. It's just... Mm -hmm. Ah, huh? it exploded! <coughs> huh? It's just that she keeps having something, well, <coughs> weird? Huh? Father! Leo is the most motivated of the princesses. She spends most of her time studying and researching. Why are my efforts always unrecognized? I just want people to have a better life. Of course, the left hand is also the hand, the right hand is also the hand, the king loves all. My huh? king, Princess Leo was coming. Hmm? 
Leo, hasn't she been eating seriously lately? But in the position not the first, not the last, not to make trouble, not to talk anything, Leo is often forgotten. <clears throat> well, uh, I have something important to tell you. <laughs> Prince Ares of neighboring country's envoy is coming to seek a marriage alliance. Among you, there will be a princess to be married off. Being married to a princess means renouncing your inheritance and not being able to return to your country. Besides, Ares, although a prince, is just a concubine's child. He's not respected by the others. So everyone can see that this is not a good position. Hey, you! Cancer! You are the eldest sister. Say something! I can listen to everything you say, father, but only my marriage? I've always wanted the true love of my life, not the political love of my life. Haven't you always wanted to get married and become a mother? The opportunity has come! Father, Leo said it. Let Leo go. She's a big girl. She always wanted to travel the world. This place was made for Leo. More. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a girl who dances all the time and dresses and dancing only thinks about it. <laughs> the real battle between the sisters broke out. Still strong, Scorpio squeezing in the middle, separating the two from each other. Get off me, you little girl. Fighting all the time because of silly things. Don't you see you are so childish? Hey, you are small but so rude. Just only known fight like a man all day long. That's right, there is no such thing sweet and soft in her personality. So instead of just two people fighting, now we have the princess battle of three princesses. Actually, this is a normal thing at the breakfast of the royal family. Huh? Mm. Only you are always gentle and docile. Unfortunately, you were born always weak, constantly sick. Father, I'm okay. <coughs> Pisces' sickly cough stopped all huh? the princesses. Despite the disagreements, huh? all the time huh? they argue, they still love each other very much. That's enough for today. Go back to your room and rest. That night, the king confided with the prime minister about his troubles. I know it was a difficult decision, but you yourself understand the danger of breaking the will of the empire. Don't you, my king? I know, but if I trade the happiness of the children I love most in the world... Huh? The conversation was overheard by Cancer outside. Not wanting her father to bother much more, she decided to sacrifice her own happiness. <laughs> they thought they would be happy because she was in trouble and escaped from the situation. But when they heard Cancer's decision, the sisters were not happy at all. Deep in their hearts, they weren't ready for the noisy family to lose their eldest sister. Hmm. Only a few days after the announcement of the engagement, the tragedy took place. The king passed away suddenly. The air of mourning filled the country. Miyoko has no prince. The king has not decided on an heir. With this situation, I'm afraid, trouble is going to happen. My kingdom. Who has the first birth is the king. The soul of our beloved king would be comforted if my wedding with cancer took place quicker. But isn't that too hasty? Hmm. 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 No, you must believe me. Moreover, after you become queen, I will remain in Miracle to be a bridegroom, and my father's side will surely help. Doubtful of this urgency, Leo secretly investigates and discovers that Ares is not as nice as he seems. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> ah! Oh, look how I caught two little rabbits. You! How dare you betray my sister! What do you say? We're just talking about intimacy. If you like, you two can stay. We can all talk. You've crossed the line! With the help of the other two sisters, Leo and Virgo decide to expose the evil of Ares, preventing her sister from marrying. This was on the last day of breakfast, the day before the wedding. Father, if you were still here, tomorrow would be the day I get married. 
There will be no wedding. The four princesses told Cancer all about Ares' lies and evils, as well as the evidence they had gathered. But if so, war is going to happen. Even if you marry him, the war will still happen. Don't you want our father to rest in peace in heaven? When father is alive, he always wants all of us to be united and happy. The wedding was annulled, and Ares returned angry, vowing to lead the army back for revenge. <laughs> it's not just a threat. The Empire used this pretext to assemble its army, preparing for the big war. <laughs> to save the country for the first time in their lives, huh? the five princesses unite <laughs> and make the most of their strengths. <laughs> Cancer, who had been good at everything, now took care of the army's food supply. Leo's intentions finally have the opportunity to make people admire when they become the most advanced weapons, increasing the strength of soldiers. <laughs> Thanks to his haste and customs, Virgo can now lead a sewing team to work tirelessly day and night, very quickly solving the problem of weather-resistant clothing. The younger princess, Pisces, was weak all day just reading books, timidly suddenly matured, forcefully huh? wrote down plans and strategies in great detail. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Even the Prime Minister <laughs> nodded at her wisdom, as well as the strategy's potential for victory. However, such efforts are not enough to convince everyone. Huh? During the gathering of soldiers, the people expressed their doubts and distrust. Huh? Against the Empire? No way! Miracle was just a small country. Mm. Nothing we do can change the ending. That's right! After all, you are all weak and soft women! Huh? Their attitude was huh? changed by a very decisive action. Mm. Invaders is coming. Who cares about men and women? The future is unpredictable. If we easily give up before we start, we will not be able to do anything in this lifetime. At the same time, when the general who commanded the army this time was none other than Scorpio, the royal princess, the people were extremely emotional, sworn unanimously. <laughs> With the cooperation and consensus of the whole country, even before that, the Miracle Army was considered inferior in both quantity and strategic combat ability, and yet they continued to win big victories. Step by step, they repelled the invaders. Scorpio triumphantly returned to the castle under the greeting of glory like an earthquake. <laughs> Princesses, we have a big problem. The country cannot afford to prolong the state of non-ownership. Who would be most deserving of the top spot? Did the princess take care of food, weapons, clothing, strategy, or was she the one to fight? Let Scorpio be the new queen. She has no fear of danger and went to the battlefield herself. No, without Pisces' great strategy, I wouldn't have made it back alive. I just say what the book says. You've worked all day and night to take care of food, weapons, and clothes that really contributed a lot. You're right. Let the people decide. All five princesses were crowned as queens. Besides, the peace of the kingdom would not be possible without the efforts of everyone. With their personality and talents, they together helped the country become prosperous and better. Look, why did that handsome prince become a vampire? What was happening? Let's follow Woa fairy tales with today's story. Once upon a time in the beautiful kingdom of Haley, which was ruled by Kosi, a talented king who owned the ultimate power of Demon Slayer. Kosi the king lived happily with his queen, and she gave birth to a really handsome and clever prince. My cute little prince. From now on, I will call you Drassy. Do you like it? <laughs> the three of them lived happily together, but that happy life didn't last long. Until one day, the Vampire King came and attacked the kingdom. That was a scary ancient vampire tribe. Legend said that they survived by sucking people's blood. To prevent the kingdom from potential risks, King Cozy used all of his power to defeat and eliminate the Vampire King. Unfortunately, before being banished, the Vampire King left a bite on Prince Drassi's body, making him really painful and his left eyes turn red. Feeling pity for his son, the king tried his best with the hope of pushing 
the dark curse out of the princess body, but to no avail. While growing up, the difference of his eyes color became clearer and clearer. As well, his pains became more serious because there were two power flows inside his body. One time, the thing became serious when the prince couldn't control himself and he almost attacked a servant. The king was so worried that he had to let the prince live in an isolated place where no one was allowed to come near. Poor Dracy was isolated and hated by everyone. Then he gradually became depressed. He just stayed in his room all day. No one wanted to talk to him. Everyone stayed away from him. So he became more and more cowed. And he didn't communicate with anyone. Until one day, he couldn't resist the loneliness anymore. Dracy decided to sneak out. To avoid the detection of everyone, he covered himself carefully and wandered around the kingdom, seeing the things he had no chance to see before. He kept wandering until he was lost in the middle of a woods. While he was confused and didn't know how to get out of there, he suddenly heard a loud scream. He immediately ran there and saw a girl who was struggling in the middle of the stream. He ignored the danger and jumped off to save the girl. Thank you. You are really the savior of my life. By the way, my name is Stella. After saving the girl, the cloak of the prince suddenly dropped out, revealing his two color eyes. He immediately covered them because he thought that Stella would be scared. Wow, you have different eyes color? It's really beautiful. I have never seen any beautiful thing like that before. Beauty, beautiful. Don't you see it's scary? <laughs> My God, scared of what? Your eyes are really beautiful. So what can I call you? Uh, I'm Dressy. Thank you so much. This is the first time in my life there's someone to tell me that my eyes are beautiful. The two quickly <laughs> became intimate. The prince snuck out every day and went to the stream bank to date with Stella. They gradually had feelings and fell in love with each other. The two were immersed in happiness without knowing that they had been caught by Percy, a disciple of Vampire King who was still alive in the fight before. He tried and tried every day to reborn the Vampire King. He caught animals in the woods as the food for the Vampire King maintained his life. <laughs> Those ordinary souls will never be able to help my master reborn. The only thing which can help is the blood of that prince. I have tried all the ways to sneak into the royal palace, but to no avail. But now, that little kid came to me for free. My chance really came. <laughs> Percy came up with a plan to arrest Stella's mother. Who are you? Why do you want to capture my mom? If you want to save your mom, better bring your boyfriend here to exchange, or I will drain all of her soul. I have to put the one I love to death? But I cannot stand here and see my mom in danger. I will bring him here and find the way to rescue him. I will sacrifice everything to keep both of them safe. That day, Stella lied to Drassi. She said that she would take Drassi to a beautiful place, but it was the Vampire King's hideaway. The Vampire King laughed out loud. He immediately knocked Stella out far away and rushed there to attack Dracy. He used his magic to suck Dracy's blood. Then he gradually revealed his original form. Seeing her lover in pain, Stella ignored all the dangers, rushed there to push the Vampire King out, and she got a magical attack from him. Tracy, 
I'm sorry for reluctantly deceiving you, but I love you. I will sacrifice all I have to protect you. Dracy shouted out angrily. Suddenly, his body shone. He turned into a vampire and rushed to the Vampire King to fight against him. He tried his best by his Vampire Slayer power, but he wasn't able to defeat the Vampire King. The Vampire King laughed evilly and performed a magic attack towards Dracy. Then he intended to suck Dracy's blood once again. Unexpectedly, when the magic attack touched Dracy, it didn't injure him, and it even combined with the Vampire Slayer power inside his body. Dracy could feel clearly the strong flow of power inside his body. He bravely stood up and rushed there to fight and defeat the Vampire King and his disciples, making the Vampire Tribe be defeated totally. After eliminating the Vampire King, Dracy casted a spell to heal Stella, and together they brought her mother home. Stella, huh? please forgive me for hiding it from you. Uh, I'm the prince of this kingdom. Since I was a kid, I got the painful curse from the Vampire King. And that made everyone stay away from me. But it was you who gave me the want of love and saved me from the death. I love you. <laughs> Father, huh? I'm sorry for my unruly actions, which put myself in danger. But luckily, I've always had Stella by my side. She saved my life and matured with me. The king was really happy when knowing that his son was matured. He then gave Dracy the throne, and the whole kingdom was ruled in peace and prosperity forever after. Was the goddess's hair turning into a rainbow? What happened? Let's follow Wola Fairy Tales with today's story. Once upon a time in the prosperous ancient land of Egypt, everyone worshipped the goddess of the Great Nile. Because she was the one giving refreshing water, abundant harvest, and bringing sufficient life to the people. She had a really satisfying life when she gave birth to a gorgeous daughter with golden hair. The goddess was really happy and she loved her so much. However, happiness couldn't last long when one day, she was lured out by the god of disease. He polluted the water in an area, forcing her out to save the people. And took that opportunity to kidnap her daughter and leave the little girl alone on the edge of the woods. That poor little princess left behind was still naive, didn't know what was happening. Fortunately, she was taken home by a widow with no children. Poor girl, who left you in the middle of the forest like this? If they don't need you then, from now on, you will be with me. I will call you Anuki. When losing her child, the goddess of Nile was depressed. She became weaker and weaker. The god of disease took that chance to spread disease everywhere. The crops were all withered and the water was heavily polluted. The polluted Nile made the weak goddess of the Nile became even weaker. She was not strong enough to fight the deceased god anymore. He took that opportunity to take over the world, raging everywhere, causing people to live in misery. Talking about the daughter of the Nile goddess, she was raised by a widow. At an early age, she had been extraordinary. Her adoptive mother had a maid in the palace, so she had used to bring her books. Anuki had been like super passionate about books since childhood. Strangely, no one had ever taught her, but she could still had read and understood those pages. At that time, the people of Egypt were extremely miserable because of the raging epidemic, polluted water, sick people was everywhere. Mom, I want to go out and find a way to save our poor people. I can't bear huh? to see them suffer. That would be dangerous. I'm worried about you. 
Mom, I'll be careful, mm. so don't worry. Then you should go. I am very mm. proud to have such a smart, beautiful, honest daughter. But remember, you have to wear a headscarf to hide this special hair, or it will be dangerous for you. Anuki walked out and was heartbroken to see everyone was sick. Water! Give me some water, please! Anuki wanted to help, but the water was so polluted, she couldn't let people drink it. She sat down on a small stream, watching it and trying to touch the water. Strangely, when she touched it, the water became clear again. <laughs> she brought the water back for everyone to drink. <laughs> After the villagers mm -hmm. drank her water, all diseases <laughs> disappeared. They joyfully worshipped her as their savior. Her miraculous magic reached the ears of the young king Memphisu. He went all the way to witness her saving everyone. I heard about your huh? talent. I have not had the opportunity huh? to meet you for a long time. Huh? Thank you for taking care of this kingdom. <laughs> I have a proposal. Do you want to save the Egypt with me? Yes, of course. It is my honor, your majesty. <laughs> when their eyes met, the king hmm. immediately felt his heart skip hmm? a bit. A gust of wind, <laughs> as if unintentionally, huh? as if on purpose, made Anuki's scarf fall down and reveal her blonde hair that mm. accentuated her beautiful appearance. <laughs> the king huh? immediately fell in love mm. with that beauty. Anuki huh? felt embarrassed mm. and immediately put on her scarf. Together, they began their journey across Egypt to save the people. Wherever Anuki went, the water became clear. <laughs> In a short time, she had saved many people. <laughs> it's a miracle. What if you come with me to the Nile? Maybe you can bring the river back to how it used to be. <laughs> they quickly traveled to the Nile. Anuki sat down and gently touched the water. Suddenly, she felt very huh? familiar. The water seemed to wrap around her hand. Thanks to Anuki, the water of the Nile <laughs> gradually became clear again. <laughs> But before the river could recover, she was suddenly blown away by an unknown force. <laughs> you dare to mess around with me with such a weak power? Like I would let you do that. Even the king who tried to protect Anuki got himself severely wounded by him. He approached her with killing intent, but a faint light from the Nile flew up to cover her. The goddess of the Nile loomed. She hugged her and cried. Don't you dare harm my daughter. He cast a spell that made the Nile return to a dark color and then turned back to attack Anuki. That weak Anuki was quickly lifted up by him and thrown into the dark river. This dark water will drown you and next will be the goddess of the Nile. <laughs> the king saw his loved one in trouble and jumped along and hugged her tightly under the fast water. The god of disease <laughs> laughed out loud because he thought he had eliminated her. But he did not expect that Anuki was a person with a purer soul than anyone. Her huh? purity purified the whole Nile. The water gently wrapped around her and lifted her up. A light enveloped Anuki. Suddenly transformed into a beautiful goddess with a rainbow colored hair. The <laughs> Nile was purified and the power of the goddess of the Nile returned. The two of them defeated the god of disease. Huh? Daughter, my dear, I thought I had lost you. 
The evil god tricked me and took you away since you were small. I thought I would never see you again. Anuki was also moved after hearing that. They hugged each other and cried with happiness. After defeating the god of disease, she and the goddess of the Nile performed the spell to make the crops return. <laughs> the water was as clear as before. She and King Menkisu also fell in love with each other. They quickly got married and they ruled mm. Egypt peacefully and prosperously ever <laughs> after. Today, we will tell you a story about a really special witch. She's Wednesday Adam, a cold girl with a genius brain. One time, Wednesday accidentally read a story about Rapunzel. She was really interested in a kind of flower which was grown up from the light drop of the sun. Then Wednesday determined to study to create that kind of flower. After so many days of hard work, a flower of the sun finally bloomed. <laughs> Suddenly, Wednesday was attacked by her mischievous brother. But backing down, she quickly fought back. Their fight accidentally malfunctioned the time machine on which Wednesday was working. The machine suddenly opened the gate, which captured her. Wednesday was driven to a really strange place. While thinking about that place, Wednesday was suddenly attacked by a stranger. Turned out, that was a castle of tangled princess Rapunzel. Who are you? How did you get here? Are you trying to take my magical hair away? I'm not interested in that Tuarty hair. So you come here to harm me? Yeah! <gasps> For some complicated reason, so I lost to here. If I want to harm you, you will not be able to do anything to me. Then Wednesday told Rapunzel the whole story about the origin of her hair. She was actually a lost princess. <laughs> and her mother was only taking advantage of her magical hair to hold her youth back. You fool me! My mother is not a bad person! If I'm not mistaken, then today is your birthday, right? Annually on this day, the king will launch the flying lanterns into the sky to pray that they can find the princess. If you don't believe, I can take you there to see. Turned out those stars called flying lanterns? But if you tell me the truth whether my parents can recognize me? Just rest assured your hair is unique, so they will be able to recognize you for sure. But why do you want to help me? I want to take something from the king's place. Hesitating for a while, Rapunzel finally decided to leave the tower, which had been detaining her for years, to go find her real parents. The extremely long hair made it difficult for Rapunzel to move. Then Wednesday decided to get her a new hairstyle. <laughs> Reaching near the palace, Rapunzel was amazed by the bustling things there. It's wonderful here. Human is not scary as my mother used to say. Huh? Then she was attracted by a painting on the wall. This is your huh? real family. You insolent thief! Stop there! Suddenly, the thief rushed there and smashed into Rapunzel. Huh? 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 Huh?
Golden was staked tight into Rapunzel's hair. Stop there! He had no other choice but to take her to run away with him. And Wednesday had to follow her. Seeing the guards kept chasing them, Wednesday suddenly thought about the way to help them escape. After a while, they finally lost the guards. When that guy wanted to take the crown back and left, Rapunzel realized that the crown was really familiar. This is my crown? Huh? You're a thief? Hmm. <laughs> huh? You're hilarious, but I don't have huh? time to play with you. <laughs> I will never let you take it away! You are Flynn Rider. How do you know it? Like in the book, you're her destiny. I will never marry a thief! I can also never love a fierce girl like you. Mm. When they were fighting for the ground, huh? the witch who had detained Rapunzel suddenly appeared. Mother! Hmm? No! You're not my mother! What are huh? you talking about? I'm your mother. Why didn't you listen to me? Why did you leave that tower? Do you hmm? know that there are a lot of dangers waiting for you outside? <laughs> Quickly, come back with me. I knew it all! Huh? Don't try to fool me anymore! <coughs> the world outside is not scary as what you said! On the contrary, you're the most scary person! <laughs> Taking advantage huh? of the distraction of Rapunzel, <laughs> Flynn immediately took the crown and <laughs> ran away. But a loud noise resounded, making him stop. Hmm. He guessed that the two girls were hmm? in trouble. I don't know why, but I feel that I cannot ignore that. Ugh, I'm really crazy. Even mm. hesitated for a while, Flynn still decided to come back to help the girls. <laughs> Seeing Flynn so annoyed, she immediately attacked him with a critical hit. At that moment, Wednesday certainly remembered that the witch's longevity came from Rapunzel's magical hair. Wednesday rushed there and cut down Rapunzel's hair. No! Huh? The hair was cut, the witch also disappeared immediately. <laughs> About him, he was badly wounded. His breath was gradually getting weaker. Why did you do that? It's not like what a thief do. I don't really understand why, but there was something inside me that compelled me to protect you. <laughs> My hair was cut down. How can I save you? Can I ask you a favor? Yes, tell me. Uh, please, help me maintain the fund for the orphanage, where the kids will... <coughs> So that's the reason why you wanted to steal the crown? All right, I agree to help hmm. those kids. Right at that moment, the space huh? around them gradually faded huh? and vanished. What's happening? Can it be? Everything is gradually vanishing because the end of the story was changed? Rapunzel, huh? kiss him. The kiss of real love will save him. Hmm. Rapunzel did what Wednesday had said, but there was no miracle happening. Huh? If things don't happen in the right sequence, Rapunzel doesn't have any feeling with Flynn, so the kiss didn't work. Maybe I have to use it now. Wednesday took out the magical flower, which he had taken a lot of time to study it. Let's see. When she was still saying, the portal opened huh? and brought Wednesday away. It turned out that thing, the pet of Adam's family, had studied her writings and successfully opened the gate again to bring her back. Wednesday hastily found the book and opened the last page. Seeing Flynn and Rapunzel together, Wednesday breathed a sigh of relief. It was a day in 1470. 
When I was in the downhill phase of my life, all my researches on mysterious creatures had come to a standstill. Huh? Sir, there is a Litherati who wants to come in and talk to you. How many times have I told you I don't want to be disturbed while I'm working? Sir, I also chased him away as you said, but the Litherati said he has stories that you will surely regret if you don't listen. Regret it? I'm really curious to see what he relies on to be so confident. Let him in. Sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. First of all, I would like to say... I don't have time! Tell me now! The latest news that a merchant passing through the marshes told me, Amazon, a land which is famous for its enchanting forests, with wild wilds growing above the head... You can get out of here now! The merchant said he saw mermaids with his own eyes. They are beautiful, sitting on the rock, singing passionately. Unfortunately, because the distance is too far, he cannot approach and hear the voice clearly. Huh? <laughs> that was how a mermaid expedition began. I was a mysterious creature adventurer, Jack Sparrow. Things did not go as planned. After a few days of searching, we found nothing but the signs of a giant beast. Uh. One day, the soldiers trapped a baby deer. Everyone was happy, but count me out. Its glittering eyes drowned out my callousness. While everyone didn't notice, I secretly released the poor little creature. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Everything had a price to pay. The price was my hungry stomach, because my dinner was cut due to my selfish action, they said. Thanks to that, I could have a chance to experience huh? a very special scene. There was a woman whose beauty was like the lyrics of the poems, or the plays that the writers had all praised. From her gorgeous eyes, sorrowful tears poured down. Weirdly, as soon as the tears fell on the little deer's wound, the deer could immediately stand up, no longer staggered like before. Oh my god! The little creature found me. Instead of running away in fear, it approached, grabbed my shirt, and pulled me towards the beauty. She was a mermaid. <coughs> Hello, pretty! She said nothing. Maybe it was because I was imagining too much, but those eyes looked at me like I was a fool. Right then... Be careful! Oh, so this is your intention to free our breakfast? It's you? It was very difficult for me to meet the mermaid. Did you see what good thing you have done? Idiot, I haven't even blamed you for ruining my plan to catch mermaids. So what, an eye for an eye? Phil's huh? threats, of course, did not falter or deviate from my original <laughs> purpose. The next day, we walked along the river and discovered a moving voice. <gasps> that was mermaid. This time definitely can't go wrong. <clears throat> rock in the middle of the lake right now was a very beautiful mermaid. That magical voice seemed to have tremendous power, somehow pulling each of us closer to her. I was awake enough to realize that two satellites appeared to grab my crews away, but my legs couldn't stop. Before I was completely oblivious to what happened, a hand grabbed my leg, pulling me down into the water. When I woke up in front of my eyes was the mermaid I accidentally met last night. So pretty. I was slowly remembering everything that just happened. That passionate voice belonged to a siren who specialized in taking advantage of her beautiful mermaid-like appearance to trap and eat people. Oh no! <gasps> I know you don't want me in danger. But I can't ignore my crews. No matter how much friction there is, there are still friends who are with me throughout dangerous situations. Hmm. Seeing my determination, the mermaid compromised. She gave me two of her fish scales, told me to put them in my ears so that I could no longer hear the singing. So it's that song that controls us. Mermaid, so what should I do to save my crew now? The mermaid gestured to her neck. In my memory flashed the pearl necklace that was shining brightly, worn by the siren sitting on the rock. I must get it. 
As soon as I put the two fish scales on my ears, they quickly became transparent. But they still prevent me from being affected by the siren singing. I still pretend like I'm completely mesmerized by the singing voice. Getting close enough, I managed to dodge the warmly hug, then rushed to the place where the other mermaid singing on the rock and snatched the pearl necklace. What happened? Beat the sirens! While we were engaged in battle, the old mermaid saw this and dived into the deep water and swam away. <laughs> Having obtained the pearl necklace, I brought it to the beautiful mermaid. <laughs> Phil, what are you doing? The scream reverberated through the air, repelling the people around. Human, it's still not safe. The harsh time is not over yet. There are three sirens, and just two of them have been taken down. The last one will absolutely return for vengeance. You... You can talk? They took away my voice and use it to hunt greedy people hunting for treasures. Before you guys, I've saved many people, but no one is calm enough to understand and help me like you've ever done. I was too tired of it, so I was about to give up when those guys were in trouble. But you didn't let that happen. It was your honest disposition that convinced me of my faith. Thanks to that, you won and helped me regain my voice and strength. <laughs> I'm not that good. The next battle is my turn. <gasps> Let me help you. You can't. The sirens are very sinister and cruel. Mm. They are not as easy to deal with as normal ones. Everyone had better mm. go back. I know I'm just a weak person. <gasps> Let me help you, even just a little, all right? I won't get in your way. Then I'll stay too! Jack saved this life, I can't leave you alone with danger! Right! I'll also stay! You guys! <laughs> <laughs> so we followed the instruction of the mermaid, following the water to another bigger cave. And then we found the remaining crew quite easily. <sighs> Something was wrong. Things can't be that easy. The mermaid had just finished speaking when a big mermaid appeared behind Phil. Phil, watch out! <laughs> the siren has no chance to fight back. My old friend just had one job was to take it down immediately. Everything was fine. That's when I realized I was about to fall. Siren's venom couldn't be cured by the mermaid's powers. It doesn't work! Why? <laughs> it's okay. It was a pleasure to meet you. As I slowly closed my eyes, the mermaid put all her strength into releasing her pearl and crouched down. Then I felt a warm energy started flowing in my every single vein. Right then, the feeling of the pearl running through my body was very real. Wherever it ran, the pain disappeared. When the pearl disappeared, the wound also completely disappeared, and I felt an abundance of vitality. <coughs> Since then, everything came back to me. In exchange for my second life, the mermaid chose to sacrifice her voice and abilities. It was not too inconvenient, because we were still extremely happy with the huge treasures that the sirens had collected so far.